Kate Middleton prices Prince William the throne, asks Queen Elizabeth to make Prince Charles subsequent king for love of princess. Prince William's wife Kate Middleton's second pregnancy is proving to actually have a negative impact on the royal family and the future of Great Britain. When the palace confirmed that Kate Middleton was indeed rocking a baby bump and pregnant with baby number two, the royal family's followers began celebrating the exciting news. But, now they are devastated to hear that Prince William has given up being the next king of the crown will pass to Prince Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles because of Kate's extreme morning sickness and rough pregnancy. According to the November 10th edition of Globe magazine, Prince William stunned the royal family by revealing that he has giving up the throne for the love of his beautiful wife, Kate. Ailing Queen Elizabeth had bypassed her eldest son Prince Charles, in favor of her 32-year-old grandson as she prepared to step down and end her 61-year reign. But William has officially informed Her Majesty the pressures of royal life and raising a family at the same time have become too much for his pregnant wife and he has reluctantly made the decision to step aside for now. While what Prince William is doing is extremely noble, the people of Great Britain can t help but be a little bitter about his decision. Now that he has stepped aside, Queen Elizabeth has no choice but to hand the throne over to Prince Charles and his wretched wife Camilla Parker Bowles, who is no doubt throwing a celebratory party as we speak. What a disaster Prince Charles will be as monarch. The power-hungry prince has already moved to silence his son and daughter-in-law and one can only imagine the battles that lie ahead. So, at this point it looks inevitable Camilla Parker Bowles and Prince Charles will finally get what they have been gunning for, Queen Elizabeth's crown. What do you think of Prince William's decision to give up the crown to protect pregnant Kate Middleton? Do you understand why he made the decision, or do you think that he has let down the people of England? We can only hope that now that Kate is recovering and was able to take a baby moon to Belmoral Castle that Prince William will change his mind before it is too late. Let us know in the comments below. Update, some readers mention that the Queen does not choose her successor. While this has been strictly true legally for about the past 300 years, the Bill of Rights 1689 and the Act of Settlement 1701, there is no question that if Queen Elizabeth wished to bypass bumbling Prince Charles, who has attempted to interfere with parliamentary democracy on many occasions by wielding influence, that Her Majesty could get an Act of Parliament passed reflecting her wishes. It is not to test Prince Charles and his second wife and future queen consort.